Hello. Hello. My name is Kishwani. It's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I. Kishwani. I don't know what just happened, but there was, there seemed to be a slight spike in the, in the estrogen level, wasn't there? My name is Kishwani, as I said. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today we'll talk about prime numbers 51 through 100. Yesterday we talked about prime numbers 1 through 50 and day before yesterday on day number 18 we talked about the very notion of prime numbers. What, what prime numbers are, what makes a number a prime number, what makes a number not a prime number. If you have not watched yesterday's videos and if you have not watched the day before yesterday's video, it is imperative, it is crucial, it is vital, it is essential that you watch day number 18 and 19 first. Do you understand? A lot of the things that we're going to talk about today, a lot of the techniques that we'll deal with today in recognizing if a given number is a prime number or not, are built upon what we learned yesterday, day before yesterday. Let's begin. Let's first list, let's very quickly first list our prime numbers 1 through 50. So we have 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. We don't have to worry about even numbers because even numbers cannot be prime numbers. If it's an even number, it is divisible by 2. Having said that, we also learned yesterday, particularly in day before yesterday, is what we talked about, the fact that 1 is not a prime number. Now if you're curious, if you're curious as to why, why, why 1 does not qualify as a prime number, then watch day number 18. We also learned on day number 18 that even though 1 is not a prime number, but 2 is. Again, on day number 18 we discuss why that is. 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number, 5, 7, 9 is not a prime number. And then we have 11, 13, 15 is not a prime number, 17 and 19. And then we have 21, 23, 25 is not a prime number, neither is 27, 29. And then we have 31, 33, 35, 37, and 39. This is something we did yesterday, that's why we're going fast, you understand? 31 is a prime number, 33 is not, 35 is not, 37 is a prime number, 39 is not. 41, 43, 45, 47, and 49. 41 is a prime number, 43 is a prime number, 45 is not, 47 we found out is a prime number, and 49 is not. Now the question is why did we need this list? Why did we need to make a list of the prime numbers 1 through 50 when we specifically said that we are going to talk about prime numbers 51 through 100? Well in order to rec what we learned yesterday is that in order to rec recognize if a given number is a prime number or not what we need to do is to make sure that it is not divisible by any of the previous prime number, any of the prime number that occurred before it. For example, let's begin our work here. 51, 53, 51, 53, 55, 57, and 59. Is 51 a prime number? Well, we have to check. We have to go through our list. Now, we're not going to worry about 2. We're not going to worry about 2. We're not going to check about 2 because none of these numbers are even numbers. We leave out all the even numbers because even numbers cannot be prime numbers. The only even number that is a prime number is a 2. Since we do not have any even numbers in our list here, let's not bother with 2. Is it divisible by 3? Is 51 divisible by 3? That's, you have to check one by one every one of them. You have to check about halfway mark. Up to 25 is where you have to check. About half, you have to hit halfway mark. Is 51 divisible by 3? Well, 51, the sum of the digits of 51 is 5 plus 1. 5 plus 1. Again, I'm not going to write everything out here because otherwise we'll never make any progress. It's important that you watch yesterday's video, day number 19. In yesterday's video, day number 19, we learned how to check for 3. If the sum of the digits, if the sum of the digits of a given number is divisible by 3, then the number itself is divisible by 3. 5 plus 1 is 6. Since the sum of the digits of 51 is 6, and since 6 is divisible by 3, 51 is divisible by 3. Therefore, 51 is not a prime number. We also learned yesterday how to divide 51, or how to divide a number by another number, in a quick way. Make sure you watch yesterday's video. 51, if you have to divide by 3, 
how many tree we ask ourselves how many trees does five have five has one tree five has one tree the remaining two goes and joins the two becomes 21 how many trees does 21 have 21 has seven trees that tells us that 51 actually is made up of two prime numbers 3 times 17 it's a composite number how about 53 is 53 divisible by 3? The answer is no. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 is not divisible by 3. Therefore, 53 is not divisible by 3. Is it divisible by 5? The answer is no because it doesn't end in a 5 or a 0. Is it divisible by 7? The 7 is something you actually have to do it out. 7 is something that you actually have to do it out physically, manually, because otherwise you're going to miss it. 7 times 7 is 49. 7 squared. 7 squared is 49. So if you were to divide this by 7, 7 squared is 49. So 7 times 7 is 49. You're going to have a remainder of 4. As you can see, 53 is not divisible by 7. Let's erase this 9, this is annoying. It is not divisible by 11. 53, 53 is not divisible by 11 because in order for it to be divisible by 11, it needs to be either, it needs to be either 55 or a 44. It's not divisible by 11. It is not divisible by 13. How do we know? Again, we have to do it out. That's the only way we know it. 13 times 3. 13 times 3 is 39. Let's add one more 13. Oh, there we go, 52. So if you were to divide it by 13, if you were to divide by 13, we'll end up with 4 and a remainder of 1. This is 53. 1 and 1, 13. It's not divisible by 13. Is it divisible by 17? Is it divisible by 17? We asked ourselves the same question by doing it out. That's the only way. 17, 17 times 3 is 1, 2, 51. Oh, there you go. It's not. We're going to miss it. Oh, right here. Why? We didn't have to do it. Oh, what the hell was I thinking? 17 was divisible by 51. If 17 is, if 51 is divisible by 17, then 53 obviously is not going to be divisible by 17. We're going to have a remainder of 2. If you were to do it out, it will go 3 times and we'll have a remainder of 2. Is it divisible by 19? The answer is no. 19 times 2 is 38 and you're going to have a remainder there. And that's it. We have to hit about half a mark. Is it divisible by 21? The answer is, answer is no, because 21 times 2 is 42. 21 times 2 is 42. If you were to divide it by 2, if you were to divide it by 21, we will have 2, which is 42. 42. 53 minus 42 is 11. We will end up with 2 and 11, 21. It's not divisible by 21. Is it divisible by 27? The answer is definitely, oh, rather not 27, 29. The answer is definitely not, because it's going to be close to 60. It's 29 times Two is going to be close to 60, this is only 53. 55 is not a prime number because 55 is divisible by 5. It's not divisible by 3, but it is divisible by 5 because it's simply 5 times 11. So 53 is divisible. 50, 51 was not a prime number. 53 is a prime number. What about 57? Same exact thing, nothing changes. Exact same process you have to follow through. That's it. You have to ask yourself, is the given number divisible by any of the previous number that appeared? Let's begin our process. Again, there's no point in checking for 2 because it's not an even number. Let's check for 3. How do we check for 3? We look for the sum of the digits. The sum of the digits here is 5 plus 7. 5 plus 7 is 12. Since, since sum of the digits, since the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, I should not say equal here, it's that's not equal there. Since the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, 57 is divisible by 3. 57 is definitely divisible by 3. Let's divide it by 3, shall we? I'm curious as to how many 3's. How many 3's does 5 have? 5 has 1 3. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 7 and becomes 27. And 27 has 9 3's. Looks like 57 is another composite number. It is 3 times 19. 57 is 3 times 19. It is not a prime number. Now again, if you do not understand what I just did here, the long the division that I just here, yeah, watch yesterday's videos as I keep reminding you, I explained in yesterday's video what, that, that method of division, that method of dividing rather. What about 59? 59 is a prime number. 59 is a prime number. We can very quickly go through it. 5 plus 9 is 14. It's not divisible by 3. It is not divisible by 3, 5 because it doesn't end in a 5 or a 5 or a 0. It's not divisible by 7 because... 7 7s are 49, 7 7s are 49, if you were to add one more 7 we'll end up with 56 and we'll have a remainder of 3. It's not divisible by 11 because we need 55 or a 66. It's not divisible by 13, it's not divisible by 13. How do we know that? 
because 13 times 4, because 13 times 4 is going to be 2, it's going to be 52. So if you were to divide it by 13, if you were to divide it by 13, we'll have 413, which is 52, and we'll have a remainder of 7. It's not divisible by 13. It's not divisible by 17. It is not divisible by 19. You can do it out yourself. You'll see it. It is a prime number. But you do have to actually do it. I'm not doing it right now, but it is a prime number. So that's it. Let's move on then. We're going to do the next three. We're going to do the next 10. We have 51 to, we have we have 51 through 60. Let's do 61 through 70. 61, 63, 65, 67, and 69. Again, you have to go through the process, you understand? You have to go through it. It is not divisible by 3, it is not divisible by 5, it is not divisible by 7, like that. That's the only way you're going to catch it. 61 is a prime number. 63 is not a prime number because we can divide very easily by 3. 6 has 2 3, and 3 has 1 3, which means 63 is simply 3 times 21. 63 is not a prime number. 65 is not a prime number because it is divisible by 5. It goes, it's divisible by 5. 67 is a prime number. 69 is not a divisible, it's not a prime number, it's divisible by 3. 69 is not a prime number. So here we have 67 and 61. Only two in that round. Let's keep on going. As you can tell, I'm picking up speed now. 71 through 79. 71, 73, 75, 77, and 79. When we get into strange things like 79 and 71, you really have to slow down and check everyone, otherwise you're going to miss it. And 73. And 73. 71 is not divisible by 3 because there's 7 plus 1, that's 8. It's not divisible by 5. It's not divisible by 7 because you're going to have a remainder of 1. It's clearly not divisible by 11 because it's not 77 or 66. It's not divisible by 13. 13 is where you have to slow down. 13 times 5. 13 times 5. You have to know your tables. You have to know your tables. It comes in quite handy. 13 times 5 is 65. So if you were to divide it by 13, you'll end up with 5. 65, which means you'll have a remainder of 6. It's going to be 6 13. It's not divisible by 17. It's not divisible by 17. Because 17 times 4 is 28, carry 2 is 68. We're going to have a remainder of 3. It's not divisible by 19. 19 is almost 20. It's not, it's not going to work. You're going to have a remainder. It's not divisible by 21 because you'll have 42 and 63, you're going to have a remainder. It's not divisible by 23. You have to go halfway through. You have to hit about seven mark of 35 before you can safely say that it is a prime number. It is a prime number. And so is 73. I'm not going to go through the process, but it is a prime number. 75 is not a prime number because it ends in a 5, because therefore it's divisible by 5. 77 is not a prime number because it's clearly divisible by 11, to say nothing of the fact that it is divisible by 7. What about 79? 79 is a prime number. 79 is a prime number. Let's do the next one. 81 through 89. 83, 85, 87, and 89. Now we're getting into nitty gritty. We really have to slow down. 8 plus 1, 8 plus 1 is 9. 8 plus 1 is 9. That tells us that 81 is divisible by 3. Because 9, is, some of the digits is 9, and 9 is divisible by 3, therefore 81 is divisible by 3. 81 is divisible by 3. And how will we do it, if we had to do it? How do we do it? How many 3 does 8 have? 8 has, eight has 2 3's. 8 has 2 3's. 2 3's are 6. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 1, becomes 21. And how many 3's does 21 have? 21 has 7 3's. But that wasn't the point. The point is 81, as you can clearly see, is a perfect square. It is not a prime number. 83 is a prime number. 85 ends in a 5. Since it's in a 5, it, it must be divisible by 5. It is not a prime number. What about 87? This is where you have to again slow down and take your time. Slow down and take your time. Check for every single prime number, beginning with 3. Again, 8 plus 7, 8 plus 7, the sum of the digits is 15. Since the sum of the digit is divisible by 3, therefore number itself must be divisible by 3. It is not a prime number. It is not a prime number. And we can do it out here to see what it is. 87 divided by 3. 
Same as before, how many, tree does, how many trees does 8 have? 8 has 2 trees. 2 trees are 6. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 7 becomes 27. 27 has 9 trees. 87 turns out is in fact a composite number. It is made up of 2 prime numbers. It is 3 times 29. 87 is 3 times 29. It is not a prime number. 89 on the other hand is a prime number. I'm not going to do it right now. But you make sure you go through the process since it's 89, which means you have to hit about halfway mark around 45, 43, and 47. That's how far you have to go in the list. You have to check every single one, every single one of these prime numbers. Every single one of these prime numbers right here. These are all prime numbers. You have to check every one of them. We have to check every one of these prime numbers to make sure that this number is not divisible by 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 21, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43. About half a mark is around 47. And you will see that 89 is not divisible by any of these numbers. Therefore, it is a prime number. Let's do the last, last, uh, last group, 91 through 99. 91 through 99. What about 91? Well, 9 plus 1, 9 plus 1 is 10. Since the sum of the digits is 10, and since 10 is not divisible by 3, 91 is not divisible by 3. Is it divisible by 5? Is 91 divisible by 5? Because that's the next one in our list. The answer is no. In order for a number to be divisible by 5, it has to end in either a 5 or a 0. The last digit has to be either a 5 or a 0. 91 is not divisible by 5. What's next in our list? The next number is 7. Is 91 divisible by 7? Let's find out. Is 91 divisible by 7? This is where it's important to watch yesterday's videos. Always make sure you watch all these videos in, the, in, the, in their proper sequence because I assume, I take it for granted, that whatever material I covered in the previous videos, you have watched it and you have mastered the concepts. Do you understand? How many 7, how many seven does 9 have? 9 has 1 7. 9 has 1 7. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 2. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 1 becomes 21. And 21 has 3 sevens. Voila! It turns out that 91 is also a composite number. It is not a prime number. It is simply 7 times 13. It is simply 7 times 13. 93 is clearly not a prime number because we can divide it by 3. 95 is not a prime number. What about 97? 97 is a prime number. Go through the entire list. Since it's all the way up to 97, you're going to have to go through the first 50 number to make sure it is not divisible by any of these numbers here. 3, 5, 7, all, all of them here. You're going to have to make sure that 97 is not divisible by any of this number. And if the answer is yes, it is not divisible by any of the number, then it is a prime number, which I'm telling you, it is. 97 is a prime number. 99 clearly is not a prime number. That was it. I lost my cap. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I will see you tomorrow where we learn something new. Bye now.